It seems like air conditioners today just aren't as cold as what they used to be. The problem is the newer air conditioners don't allow the room to get cold enough before it shuts off. But if you look online, there's a lot of different ideas, a lot of different ways to hack your air conditioner, I guess, to make it run colder. Unfortunately, a lot of these ways can cause the air conditioner to freeze up and it can cause other problems. So I'll show you what I did to make my air conditioner run colder. So we're going to bypass this thermostat. So this is what I use. This is an external thermostat that allows me to control the compressor. With this, I can program the temperature that I want the compressor to start and the temperature I want the compressor to turn off. Also, I can program in a delay between the start and stop of the compressor because we don't want the compressor of the air conditioner to start too soon after it's shut off. One reason is if there's any ice accumulation in the air conditioner, we want that to melt away before the compressor starts again. Also, we don't want to hard start the compressor, so we need to program in a delay between the start and the stop of the compressor to keep from overloading things in the air conditioner. So all this really is is a pass-through. This is the power coming in, and the power coming in runs this unit. Then we have an outlet. So what I've done as I've got a plug here that I've wired directly to the compressor of the air conditioner. And that simply goes into our thermostat. At the right temperature, it just sends the power to this cord that I've hooked up to the compressor. Now the thermostat comes with its own temperature probe. And I just fish that in right behind the original temperature probe. And that temperature probe just plugs into the side of the thermostat just like that. So the only wires coming out of the air conditioner is the temperature probe, the power cable that runs the compressor, and then the main power cable that's really just running the fan. So we get a nice clean installation. It looks good and it runs great and we have total control of the temperatures. So what I end up with this, I got two cords, two cables going to the air conditioner. So then to turn on the air conditioner, I just turn on the power strip and that turns on everything and it's ready to go. Once the temperatures are set, that's really pretty much where I want it. So thanks a lot for joining me on this video. I really appreciate you watching, and I hope this helped you out quite a bit. I will see you in the next video.